Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of The Other Side of Addiction. I am Al Richards, your host, and uh, we have an honor of having Rachel from Novus Health. Rachel, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, and um, so Rachel and I met at First Fridays, which is which is an e- a networking group that the West Jordan Chamber and the South Jordan Chamber put on, and I happen to be in the state of Utah for those in that the state don't know of it. Utah. Yes, yeah. Well, I think the majority of our listeners are Utah. Of course, I don't know through Resilience Talk Network, we've got like 300 and something people from Germany that watch Resilience all the time, ah. which is really cool. So we do get people all around the world. Um, but yeah, Rachel and I, she actually, I was. Um, um, a facilitator and she came over the table and she was she was throwing out her 60 second spill and after the event I'm like I gotta go talk with Rachel I want to see if she wants to come on the show because I really do believe what you guys do is a benefit and I think our people our people should hear it so um, and I want to say TJ my brother thank you so much for being our guest co-host today really appreciate You're welcome, it Alan. it's been a while yeah only a couple months Co- that's couple a, that's months a, a couple months you know and and in you know, I don't want to embarrass you in front of our listeners. I mean, you are a cute guy, but yeah, you know, right. usually, usually I have some real pretty co-hosts that are on the show. So, matter of fact, all of them are. Yes, but uh, thank you for being well, here. If you need we'll to, have to get you if a you wig. Need to change my dress. You know, yeah, we, we can, can do, we can do that, that, later. right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I know TJ pretty well, so um, I'm sure we could get him in a skirt and and. And a wig, well, right? Well, skirt won't matter because, you know, this yeah. is under the table yeah. here. You, know? you don't know what I'm wearing right now. But, uh. That's true. That's true. Everything's covered up, everybody. So, Rachel, oh my gosh, tell us a little bit more about Novus because I've only heard like a 60-second spill and I've done just a little bit of research on you guys. But mm-hmm. uh, tell us a little bit more. Yeah, so Novus Help is functional medicine uh, and we combine it with health coaching. So... I'm one of the health coaches there. I'm a functional medicine health coach. Um, And for those of you who are not familiar with what functional medicine is, um, it's essentially an alternative approach to healthcare um, where we look at the body as a fully connected system because it is. Um, Our, you know, all of our cells communicate, all of our organs are packed into one body. Yeah. Um, and so we look for the root cause of disease instead of just fix, fixing symptoms um, and kind of putting band-aids on things. Um, so we do several different things. Um, we do comprehensive lab testing. I think that's a big piece. Um, you know, we don't know what to treat unless we can see the full picture. Mm-hmm. Um, we do health coaching. Um, you know, a lot of health outcomes are based on lifestyle factors and we're learning more and more and more about that as research goes on. Um, and in our office, we also have red light therapy. Uh, we have PEMF therapy, which is pulsed electromagnetic field therapy, and we have an infrared sauna with halo therapy. So those are just some regenerative health technology um, pieces that we have our members use to help enhance their healing process. Um, We really take a comprehensive approach. So it's not just about fixing your diet. It's not just about working out at the gym. You know, sometimes we need a little bit more support, especially with some complex cases like autoimmune conditions and diabetes and things like that. You know, there's so many things that really do happen inside our body because you and you just touched base we we could still eat healthy we can go to the gym and we can work out and be active but there's things that could be going on inside of us too that we don't even know right we may Mm -hmm. feel healthy and look healthy Mm -hmm. you know um getting up there in age myself being gosh eight months away from hitting the big six zero, which i'm a shock that (laughs) i'm gonna be almost 60. I started noticing, I've started noticing some different things. Like I've got issues with my foot, you know, um, I've been noticing that my hands are swelling a little bit more and I look at myself as, as pretty healthy and my wife and I, we eat fairly healthy. We don't eat a lot of junk food and we don't go out and eat a lot, you know, at restaurants or fast food joints, but it's so nice to know that there is someone out there that's wanting to get into the root cause. You know, and I think we're starting to see a lot of recovery centers mm-hmm. doing that now when it comes to the addiction. A lot of it, and, and 
the 12 step program. The 12 step program has helped thousands and thousands of people for a lot of years and it's done a lot of good. There are some now that are coming in going, you know what, we're kind of going to get away from the 12 step program a little bit. And they are now starting to realize that they need to figure out what's going on inside that person. It's like I spoke with my wife's um, attorney once and he called me up and he goes, man, the courts are getting tired of watching your wife coming through here. They're they're getting ready to send her to the point of the mountain because they've, they've about had enough. And he's like, any suggestions? I'm like, yeah, we need to send her somewhere that's going to figure out what's going on inside because it's not the alcohol. Yeah. The alcohol and that's just most that's, every, that's the, yeah. si- that's the symptom, right? Yeah. That's the band aid that mm-hmm. you were talking about, mm-hmm. you know, and, and most people who have been on the show, the majority of them say, yeah, that's my addiction was just my band aid. I was covering up some kind of trauma or pain or, right. I mean, we've had people come in that, I mean, have been raped and have been sexually assaulted and have been beaten. And I mean, it just, the list goes on and on and on. And of course they're going to numb themselves. Mm -hmm. They want to, they want to hide that. I mean, if I went through a lot with, if I went through with what a lot of our guests have gone through, I could be sitting in a different chair as well, just as easy, Mm -hmm. you know? So it's really cool that Novus is doing that, that they're really digging deep instead of just pulling out a pad here right. take take this and call me in two weeks let me know if the symptoms go away right because yeah. basically that's just another band-aid yeah it's a quick fix and yeah that's what people want initially but it doesn't solve anything so you know a couple years down the line they're still dealing with the same problems yeah and if not it's gotten worse right mm-hmm. the old saying if you keep doing what you're doing you're going to keep getting what you got Exactly. And yeah. the same thing in that functional health side. Mm-hmm. You, you, you got to change that. What's your background? That's a good so question. <laughs> tell me your background. Because, you know, you get a lot of people coming, hey, I'm a life coach. I'm this. And yeah. I say, well, you're 21. What's your background? I, you know, <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. oh, well, I've been through a lot of life. But in right. functional medicine and going through this and being a health coach, what's your background and what does novice look for when they have people that are coaches mm-hmm. to do the effective job of life coach or health coaching? Yeah. You know, the coaching industry is booming now. Yes, you can it is. get a health or you can get a coach for anything. Um, but my personal background, and I think every health coach has a pretty unique or individual story. Um, so I did my undergrad in psychology. I mm-hmm. uh, really enjoyed that. Um, but as I was going through that program, I realized that something was missing. Um, you know, we can learn about what's going on in your brain and you can kind of unravel that, but the brain is only one part of the body. So if you're not taking care of the rest of your body, your brain's not going to be optimally healthy either. Um, and so I've always had a passion for health and wellness as well. So I went through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition um, to become a health coach, have a little bit of experience in weight loss coaching but was really introduced to functional medicine um, about, I would say, a year and a half ago. Um, I worked with a naturopathic doctor, and um, naturopathic doctors are very similar to functional medicine doctors, and that kind of opened my eyes to blending the two of holistic practices um, and natural remedies um, while also, you know, having the lab testing and being data driven and using all the things from research that we get from Western medicine um, and kind of blending the two. And um, so right now I'm I'm studying to take the exam through the National Board of Health and Wellness Coaching. Um, that national board is, is fairly new, so they're trying really hard to um, really regulate the coaching space so that people, you know, have experience, have the knowledge that they need, and they're yeah. not you know, leading people astray uh, unknowingly a lot of the times. Um, so that's that's my background. And with Novus, I've, I've gotten a lot of education as well. We work directly with um, a few different functional medicine providers. And so we do training calls all the time. And, you know, now I'm, I'm getting access and um, familiarity with blood work and blood chemistry Um, And so I've gotten a lot of education just through my position now working with these physicians and our members. Are you guys doing Um, anything with uh, genetics, um, DNA and stuff too, to kind of see where people come from within their body from a DNA standpoint as as well as doing the functional stuff? Or have you not got there yet? 
Um, I, yeah, we're really not there yet. I, I would say that, you know, we talk about genetics a lot when it comes to health, right? Oh, you know, diabetes is genetic or these chronic conditions yeah. are genetic, right? Um, and this one saying, I, I don't remember where I heard it, but um, I, I, I think of it often. Genetics only loads the gun. Your lifestyle pulls the trigger. So, oh, I like that. you know, yeah. even if you've got yeah. these predisposed genetics, you know, if you're taking care of yourself, those conditions or diseases may never surface. You know, that's that's well said, because I know <laughs> yeah. on one show I mentioned that my uncle was a, a severe alcoholic and ended up passing away. And I know that, you know, in doing some DNA stuff that I have that same gene, you know, mm-hmm. I have that predisposition to do that. And if I were to even take a drink or a couple drinks or whatever, mm-hmm. I, I have that addictive personality. Genetic yeah. behavior. Right. Well, I've taken that and changed it into other things rather than alcohol, you know, my addictive personality in many different ways. But mm-hmm. I, that is, you're right. And it's because of my, my behaviors and my b- lifestyle and what I choose to do is an enhancing that mm-hmm. DNA perspective. Yeah. And so what can someone, I often have the saying that unmet expectations create a, a uh, um, disappointment, if you will. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you have unmet expectations going into a relationship or marriage, what are is someone able to expect with Novus? When you say you do functional medicine mm-hmm. so that they don't have unmet expectations and hearing this podcast and hearing things like, oh man, they can heal me. They can they can solve all my problems. Mm-hmm. What, what would you say that they should expect that Novus can do for them if they come in and see you as a, mm-hmm. as a health coach? I would say that you can expect that we're going to do everything we can to figure out what's going on with your body. Um, I think that's the beauty of functional medicine and Novus as well, is that we are going to listen to your complaints. We're going to listen to all of the different symptoms that you're having um, and really work hard to put together the pieces. Um, so we often run a really comprehensive lab panel over 60 different biomarkers. Hmm. Um, and we do that at the very start of anybody's journey with Novus because we want to see the big picture. Um, we can't just look at your thyroid. We can't just look at your A1C and your insulin. We've got to look at all the different factors combined so that we can figure out where things are going wrong. Um, and you can expect that we are going to put the responsibility on you Mm. um i think that's a big piece that people don't think about um as a coach accountability is very important (laughs) for coaches to have with their with their clientele their patients whatever Mm -hmm. people kind of see coaches as that person that holds them accountable but it's really not it's it's a coach is to help you figure out how to keep yourself accountable. And I think that's a big piece because we do work in the coaching process on a lot of different lifestyle factors and behaviors that are not easy to change, mm-hmm. um, especially if you've been doing the same thing that you've been doing for 10, 15 years. Um, you know, we work really in depth to figure out, you know, the best ways to change those behaviors, change those lifestyle habits in a very sustainable way. So it's not something that, you know, is going to fix everything overnight because we've got to take baby steps to get there um, to reverse some of these things that are going on for you. So to answer your question, I would say expect to do the work. You know, we can't do it all for you. We don't have a magic pill. We've got supplements. Those are still not a magic pill. You can't out supplement a crappy diet. You can't out supplement, you know, poor health behaviors. Um, so I think that's something to expect. Um, but also just to expect in a supportive environment. We really try to meet anybody where they're at. You know, if you've, you know, never eaten a vegetable in your whole life, that's okay. We'll work there, you know, mm-hmm. or if you're really fit and healthy, but you've got some gut stuff going on, you know, your gut's really not happy with you. We're, we're going to work with you there and figure out how to how to fix that as well. I love that answer, actually. That's- I I do, too. You know, and, and 
with what you're saying, Rachel, it it just reminds me of so much like almost like um, a sponsor, you know, so people who are going through recovery, they have their sponsor and their sponsor holds them accountable. And I was talking to my good buddy Laban Ditchburn, you know, when he was here in Salt Lake and him and his lovely wife um, had to leave because of issues with their visas. But uh, he was talking about everyone wants that quick fix. Mm -hmm. They don't want to do the work to get to work. They'll they'll bitch and moan about it. Mm -hmm. Why isn't things changing? I want my life to be better. However, when someone comes forth like what you guys would do and say, look, this is what we can do for you. But by golly, here's your damn homework and you better do your homework. Mm-hmm. That's there for a reason. And and people are like, eh. I you love- know, it's and, and 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 I don't guys, I'm not throwing my wife under the bus here. Maybe I am. Maybe it may sound like this, but my wife's had issues that with her leg that if she sits for a long time, her leg just gets very, very painful. And they've gone in and gone to the doctors and they do tests. and They're like, no, it's just the muscle is just extremely tight. Here's some exercises. So they give her all these exercises that she's supposed to do at least two times a day. Well, she'll do it once. Mm-hmm. A couple of days later, she's like, my leg hurts so bad. Have you been doing your exercises? No. Mm-hmm. Why aren't you doing your exercises <laughs> then? You know, I mean, basically yeah. it's that same way. I, I, go, um, I go get a massage once a month. That is something that it's my self-care. I yeah. started doing it eight years ago, I think. And I've stuck with it. Mm-hmm. It's like, I will drop other things, but by golly, this is my self-care day. Mm-hmm. And I, you go through a number of massage therapists because they come and go like right. crazy. But I get a couple that gives me homework after every massage. They have a paper. They're like, this muscle's tight. This is what you need to do. When you're at the gym, do this stretch. You'll start noticing a difference. And this, this one that I've had recently, her name is Sarah from um, Spavia and Sandy. I've had issues with my lower back. And sometimes it gets really, really tight. And I'm already crooked in the body anyway because my left leg's short. And she goes, a lot of times it's not really your back. It's, it's a muscle over here in the thigh off to the side. And um, she goes, what kind of stretching do you do? And I said, well, this is the stuff I do after my workout. And I do the foam roller. And she goes... I want you to foam roll that every single flipping day. And I only go once a month, so every four weeks. And she goes, when you come back, let me know what it's done for you. Mm -hmm. So, and and I says, look, I will do exactly what you tell me. She goes, well, then you'll be the first one. And that's basically (laughs) what she told me. You will be the first one. Because usually my clients come back and I'll say, did you do this? And they're like, well, yeah, I did it a couple times. And I says, look, I will do it. And I've done it. Holy crap. Mm-hmm. It's it's made such a big difference mm-hmm. because she knows what she's talking about. Yeah, and I've got to put forth that effort to make that change. And it's not like your life's over with, right? You can still enjoy things. Mm-hmm. When I was doing um, fitness training at a club in West Jordan, you know, we were talking about diet, and I remember one of the guys in the audience when we were asking him a question, he goes. So does that mean I can't have any hamburgers and french fries and stuff anymore? And it's like, <laughs> no, that's not what we're telling you. Yeah. You can still enjoy having things that you enjoy eating, but you just got to learn how to do it properly. Find balance. Find the balance. And yeah. that's what people struggle with so much. It's way easier to fall into that all or nothing thinking. You know, it's I'm going to eat no sugar. Right. Yeah. Or I'm going to say, screw it and just eat whatever I want. I'm going to have dessert after every meal. Um, But it's really finding that balance that people struggle with. Um, I agree. You know, with your answer you you gave us, I love that because you said two things to me. Number one, they can expect that you will share with them a solution, Mm -hmm. but you can expect that they need to put forth the work Mm -hmm. and everything else said, just back that up. You know, even what he has to do with his leg and everything, he had to put forth the work. Mm-hmm. And I love that that Novus is really taking that functional medicine in a way yeah. that they're saying, we're going to make sure you change. And even if it is just a little change, mm-hmm. and most people expect this big change to happen all at once, but even if it's just those little small baby set steps of change, 
you're starting to see the change. As a mental mindset coach, yeah. that's kind of one of the things I teach people is have that, look that positive gratitude thing that you can look at that happened this time. Right. So dealing that, you know, this podcast really deals with the other side of addiction, mm -hmm. which means we all have some sort of an addiction. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. What have you found there with Novus that the type of clientele that you can help is is the best can you help people in all kinds of addictions like from drug to food to to phone addiction <laughs> to anything like that or or what have you found is your specialty do you have specialties of who you can help in the functional medicine Good yeah question. yeah um so we we do kind of have a niche um i would say that we take on members and clients um very intentionally um, we work with those with autoimmune conditions, okay. primarily a lot of thyroid conditions, and that can include hyperthyroid, hypothyroid, Hashimoto's mm -hmm. is some one we see quite often, mm -hmm. um, diabetes, uh, type one and type two, type two though is often reversible. Um, and that, that is one that you know, it really changes people's lives once they oh, get that under, under wraps. Um, and then um, gastrointestinal issues. We don't like to talk about it, but a lot of us have those issues. <laughs> like my diverticulitis? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. And, and I'm well, glad. Anyways, we should talk about that. Yeah, but anyways. Yeah. I Let her keep going because, yeah, because my, my wife has gut issues bad, yeah. really yeah. bad. Yeah, a lot of us do, you know, yeah. just from everything from our the food that we eat, our environmental toxins, the over-prescribed and overuse of antibiotics. Um, that really is destructive to our guts. Um, and so we primarily work with those people. But I would say that it is pretty open for people who are just looking to really take control of any specific symptoms. Um, I, I think one thing that I hear pretty consistently uh, from people that, that we work with is that they came to us, maybe not for a specific condition, um, but because they have these nagging health goals that they haven't been able to achieve and doctors may have not been responsive or helpful even um, and they they're looking for someone to help them find the answers and i think that's really what we strive to do at novus is really put the client first and listen to what they want their health care to be right. like um and i think that's where maybe western medicine gets it wrong mm -hmm. you know you walk into a doctor's office you tell them your symptoms they're like, okay, they check some boxes and send you off with a prescription and don't really ask the questions about, you know, what's going on for you, you know, are you stressed out all the time, how's your sleep, how's your nutrition, um, and kind of going back to, to what you were saying about your wife, I think um, it's, it's difficult to have that accountability if you're only seeing your doctor maybe once or twice a year. And that's the benefit of coaching. That's why we've kind of paired the two. We work yeah. with a nurse practitioner, um, but they don't have a ton of time to give to all of their all of their um, patients. And so that's where like the coach comes mm -hmm. in, and that's why it's a really good relationship that we have there. You know, and I, I really like you said the the coaching industry is booming, mm -hmm. and it has probably for about the last ten years. I'm I'm guessing, and. It's kind of crazy because if you look at professional sports, there's a coach for every damn thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, these guys have made it to the professionals, which means these guys are like the top-notch athletes. But they still have their coaches. Mm -hmm. I mean, a quarterback coach or a quarterback has a quarterback coach. They have throwing coaches. They have running coaches. They have health coaches. They have stretching coaches. I mean... Almost anything you can think of that will help that athlete perform at the highest peak, and if not take it up even higher, they have someone there that's helping them get through it. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, I did I did bodybuilding competition back in my mid thirties, and I was shocked, completely shocked by changing my diet how quickly my physique changed mm -hmm. within like a month and a half. 
And it was tough. It was really tough. I was talking with somebody um, a couple weeks ago at the gym and, and um, they were saying that they had a friend that was wanting to get into competition. And after about a week, he, he couldn't handle the diet anymore. He's just like, no, screw this shit. I'm, do I'm not doing mm -hmm. this anymore. <clears throat> and I remember the guy that was helping me, I went to him and, and I was eating five meals a day. So I'm eating like every two to three hours. Mm -hmm. And about the third day, um, we happened to work at the same place. And he's like, so how's it going? I'm like, man, I am so sick of eating. I feel bloated all the time. Mm -hmm. And I says, I'm just, I'm mad if this is what it's going to be like. He goes, give it about another three or four days. You'll change your mind. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all right, well, he's done it. So he knows. Mm -hmm. And I think it took about another two days, possibly three days. And the following week I'm at work, I have my first meal. And I remember about an hour later, I'm looking at the clock going, oh my gosh, I still got another hour before I can, I'm freaking starving, you know? <laughs> yeah. and, and before I realized it, I'm like, holy cow, I eat. And literally like two hours after that, I'm freaking just starving. I, I cannot wait to eat again. Mm -hmm. And I started watching my body change. And again, we talked about people wanting that quick fix, holding people accountable. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I always did my best to stay in shape. I've always been lifting weights and staying active since I was in high school and worked construction, which keeps you in shape. I got to a point in my life where my career kind of took over. I've never really weighed over 183. I found myself at 198 pounds. Mm -hmm. I didn't hit 198 pounds overnight. It mm -hmm. took some time of a bad lifestyle. At least two days. A stressful lifestyle. Yeah, two days. Mm -hmm. Lots of ice cream. I love ice cream. <laughs> but, you know, it, it took that time. Yeah. And... In 2009, after I lost my job, I'm like, man, I, I, something's got to change here. I got to figure out who I am as a person, who I want to be as a person. I cannot believe I look the way that I look. Mm -hmm. I've got to do something. And we talked about the baby steps. Mm -hmm. Slowly but sure, I got, I got on my mountain bike and I just started riding around the block because I didn't have a job at the time. Next thing I knew, I was riding around two blocks. Next thing I knew, I was doing 10 blocks. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just those little steps. From that day on, you know, I've ended up dropping now down to, well, I dropped uh, from 198 down to about 173, and now I bring come in around 183. Mm -hmm. But I've put on a lot more muscle now, too, compared mm -hmm. to what I look like after I lost the weight. So, again, what you guys are saying, Rachel, with what Novus does is, they help the client stay accountable. Mm -hmm. They help walk them through it, right? Basically, mm -hmm. you guys are also the cheerleaders. You're just yeah. not there to help educate them. Mm -hmm. You're their cheerleaders as well going, man, awesome job. You yeah. know? It's almost kind of like if you ever watched The Biggest Loser yeah. you know, or My 600-Pound Life. They always have someone there that's mm -hmm. really giving them, and even through addiction, you know, um, someone makes it a month without using awesome man great job keep going right yeah, it's, it's important to look for that progress because like you were saying earlier you know it it, it happens little by little mm -hmm. and if you don't really have somebody to be like hey look at these things that you've accomplished mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. might not right. even realize that you accomplished it yeah amen from, from childhood to yeah. adulthood we still need those little gold stickers those mm -hmm. little those the little gold stars atta, the little attaboys <laughs> a little bit the, you know whatever yeah. You know, yeah functional medicine has like you said taken over in a in a big way lately i've, mm -hmm. I've been hearing a lot more of it and coaching you mentioned coaches everyone has a coach yeah uh my childhood friend and dr alex guerrero is tom brady's functional medicine coach wow that's what he does. He lives here in Highland, but he also lives, uh, well, I grew up in Southern California with him, but he also lives back east with him. Mm -hmm. But uh, Tom always looked to him for any functional medicine thing. He mm -hmm. always wanted to be his best performance, mm -hmm. but didn't want all the Western medicine stuff that he felt yeah. deteriorated from that. Mm -hmm. So, but he has money to pay for that. Mm-hmm. We don't have a lot of that money to pay for that. Mm -hmm. most, so, most people don't. So when someone enters into Novus and doing that, mm -hmm. do they take insurance? Does insurance cover stuff like that? Is it more more like the coaching where they, they pay? And if so, kind of give a, give the audience a little idea on what someone, if they're going to go into functional medicine, 
would need to also be aware of mm -hmm. from a financial perspective. I'm, I'm glad you brought that because I was mm -hmm. bringing that up on the second half of the show. But I'm, well, we can no, take a break no, when you're ready. And, well, you let's know. do that. Yeah, let's take a quick break right now okay. and then let's come back because that was something I really wanted to hit on. I'm glad that you brought it up, TJ, mm -hmm. because again, well, we'll just talk about it when we come in. Guys, stay <laughs> with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Have you ever been in a car accident? Do you know what to do after being in a car accident? Are the insurance companies going to take care of you? Hi, I'm attorney Rick Heaton with the law office of Bobby Udall. I will help you through the process and answer all of these questions. I give every single client my cell phone so they can talk to me whenever they need. Let me deal with the insurance company so you can focus on getting better from your injuries. Call me at 385-330-0226. Again, my cell phone number. 385-330-0226. Don't call the insurance company first. Call attorney Rick Heaton at 385-330-0226. Hello, my friends. This is Brad Newfeld, and I want to thank you for tuning in to the Resilience Talk Network. You can listen to my show, Resilience, every morning, Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. On my show, we will be discussing what it takes for you to overcome the day-to-day -day challenges that all of us face in life, as well as some of the devastating ones that may lead us to feelings of hopelessness and despair. It's my goal to provide you with the tools and skills that you need to overcome anything that is thrown your way. To find out more about my show, visit our website at www.resiliencetalk.com. That's www.resiliencetalk.com. And as always, until we meet again, go for everything that you want in life and make it happen. Good morning, this is Leticia with Computer Hospital. We are your computer repair experts for both PC and Mac. We are your community resource for all of your computer repair needs. What makes us different is that we want to fix your computer. We also do free diagnostics. We charge a flat rate labor, which means that you won't pay by the hour. All of our computer repair is done in-house with a fast turnaround time and same day service is also available. Feel free to stop by any time without an appointment. We're located in Sandy at 8721 South State Street. Again, that's 8721 South State Street. Or call us at 801-987-3993. Again, that's 801-987-3993. This is Leticia with Computer Hospital, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Hello there, this is Brad Newfeld with the Resilience Talk Network, and I would like to introduce to you Taffy Town, one of our newest sponsors. Let me introduce you to Derek. Hi, I'm Derek from Taffy Town. We're proud sponsors of the Other Side of Addiction podcast. Taffy Town is a family owned and operated business, still operating in the Salt Lake City area for over 100 years. We manufacture some of America's best saltwater taffy. What makes Taffy Town stand out from all of the others? We have a unique recipe, a whip style recipe that incorporates egg whites, evaporated milk, real sea salt. It's a unique product that is flavorful, melts in your mouth. And the best part is we probably have a flavor for anyone's um, liking, a flavor for any reason, for any season. Uh, we have unique flavors like chicken and waffles, maple bacon, frosted cupcake, uh, new this year was a pineapple ghost pepper flavor. That's awesome. Where can people find out more about Taffy Town and all of its products? You can check all of this stuff out. All of our products are available uh, for sale on taffytown.com. We ship for free from our website, so all of our pricing on there is, is shipping included. Uh, oftentimes we uh, offer special promotions and discounts to our loyal customers, so do be sure to sign up for an account. 
and we look forward to seeing what we can do to make you smile with our taffy. Where are you located? We are currently located at 9813 South Prosperity Road in West Jordan, Utah, just at the foothills of the Copper Canyon Mine. Derek, Taffy has always been a great gift to give. What are some of the creative ways Taffy Town can help say thank you to others? Yeah, if, if you're looking for gift ideas, whether to say thank you to friends or family, or maybe to your clients after such a difficult or successful year that you've had, you could look no further than to get a gift idea from taffytown.com. We offer prepackaged gift boxes that say that it's saltwater taffy from the city of the Great Salt Lake, and it tells a little bit about the history of our community and making candy for so long. You can also do customized gifts to pick out just the right flavors or colors of candy for that special someone and deliver even a personalized message in that box to them. So please feel free to check out taffytown.com for any gift ideas this season. Thank you so much, Derek. Please visit taffytown.com, that's taffytown.com, to find out more about the products and services that Taffytown offers. You won't be disappointed. Do you know someone who's gambling with death due to an addiction? Do you know someone whose life is being turned upside down due to a loved one that's battling with addiction? Hi, I'm Al Richards. I am the host of the Other Side of Addiction podcast. I started the podcast due to my wife's battle with alcohol. Let's just say I became addicted to her addiction. Our podcast is helping people understand a little more about those who have battled addiction and those who are hurting from their addiction. Through raw vulnerability, we share stories that help uncover the root causes of addiction. Shame felt on both sides, matter of the conscious and subconscious mind, continued beliefs and often confusing paths of recovery. We collaborate with real people and their stories as well as licensed professionals to help our audience gain a better understanding of addiction. You can find us on Resilience Talk Network. You can also find us on Facebook at Mr. Al Richards. That's Facebook at Mr. Al Richards. You can also find us on YouTube. Just look up the Other Side of Addiction podcast. Welcome back to the other side of addiction. We are here with our special guest today, Rachel from Novus Health, and my um, good buddy TJ. So, guys, thank you for being here. Mm-hmm. Greatly appreciate it. So, right before we went to the break, TJ, you brought up a really good point because I had that in my mind. This question I wanted to ask about: Are there insurances that that help cover for people who want to go in and? And I'm just going to throw this out there. I'm going to say no, because usually anything that's good for us, that is good for our health, the insurance companies, I'm just throwing it out there. You want to pull our show, pull our damn show. But seriously, that's how it is, right? It's good observation. I mean, it, it is. If it's good for us and it can make us healthy and get us thinking clearly, mm-hmm. they don't want us to do that. So mm-hmm. why they cover They do cover it? some nature paths. So, well, you know, some nature paths, but mm-hmm. yeah. So, I mean, I'm going to throw it in your lap now, Rachel. <laughs> So back to the question, right. what can yeah. someone expect from a financial situation to be, uh, when, and I know you don't know because you don't know the longevity of how yeah. long you're going to be, but right. just even just in general, I mean, like an office visit, does insurance covered or what do they pay? I mean, mm-hmm. things like that, what would they need to expect? Yeah, it's yeah. a great question. So functional medicine is not covered in, under insurance. Um, it's truly unfortunate. It is. Um, but I think we're moving in a positive direction. Um, and we can accept HSA, like health savings accounts. Mm -hmm. And those are becoming a little bit more popular, Mm -hmm. um, because people want the autonomy over their, their healthcare. Um, and so we, we work off of a membership model to reduce the cost. Um, some people really don't like memberships. Uh, but I think it works well because, you know, you have this membership until you feel like it's not useful anymore. Um, 
And so when it comes to cost, it is very individual because there's many different things that we have to take in to, um, into account. So what testing you might need, uh, the supplements that you might need, uh, things like that. But right now we are less than $200 a month. And some people look at that and they're like, that's, that's expensive. Um, and you know, I hear you, right. Uh, where we're at with the economy right now, I understand. But if you really sit back and think about it, think about how much you have probably paid in insurance for care that has left you with these same symptoms. So really, it's an upfront cost um, that's going to save you in the long run. Um, one, One fact that I like to like to mention is for diabetes the average cost of your first year after you're diagnosed with type 2 diabetes is $16,000. Now, a lot of that your insurance is covering, so you aren't necessarily paying that out of pocket, but that's how much it actually costs. Mm -hmm. Um, And so, you know, if we can work to reverse that or prevent that, you're saving a lot of money. Oh, yeah. Um, And one question I usually ask people because I know that they want to be able to use their insurance is, well... Think about how many years you've been un- under your insurance's care and have they really helped you? It kind of helps you see the value in doing things differently um, and maybe trying to reprioritize costs so that you can prioritize your health. Well, if you said, you know, somewhere around 200 or a little under that, I mean, that's $50 a week. If you mm-hmm. look at it that way, that's yeah. that's about eight seven fifty eight dollars a day. Mm-hmm. I mean, most people pay that in a coffee anymore, you know? Yeah. Pretty I mean, much, that's, yeah. By the time you get to coffee and tip, that's yeah. that's gone, you know, that day. So yeah. I can I can see the value in that mm-hmm. for sure. Uh, are things like when you talk about blood tests, lab tests, and all that stuff, can you can they run those through in their health insurance, or is that also an out of pocket cost for the lab? Yeah, work too? so typically it's out of pocket, um, and really, it, we say that you can always try to run it through insurance, see if they'll accept it. But because it's a provider that's out of network for, with all networks, basically, mm-hmm. um, they reject it most of the time. Um, but we work through a co op. Um, to do our lab testing and they've created a custom panel for us um, to reduce the cost. And with lab costs, they can get pretty expensive, but it's such valuable information because if you think about it, you know, you might on your own try 20 different supplements or 20 different procedures or therapies in a year that cost you however many hundreds of dollars, but you're not treating the right thing. And so it's useless. So if you really get that uh, lab testing and figure out where those problems are, you're going to save yourself from a lot of trial and error, time yeah. and money. <clears throat> good point. Mm-hmm. Really good point. And, and I'm sure that you guys <clears throat> check... Let's see. Do your... I bet you guys do your homework on the supplements that you mm-hmm. give people because um, I just even want to let our listeners know you can go, and, and I've done it. I've been just as guilty because of the way finances are nowadays. I've gone to Groupons and, and bought supplements because, you Me know, too. you can get, you know, three right. for the cost of one and mm-hmm. things like that. And I had a gentleman tell me quite a few months ago, he goes, you know, the reason why they're doing that is because they're not your top notch. He says, if mm-hmm. this is top notch quality supplements... He's like, they're not going to sell you, uh, you know, buy one, get two free right. because they're losing money mm-hmm. because the the people who do top grade supplements. Now, I did Herbalife. I was a distributor for Herbalife for quite a long time. Mm-hmm. There's no middleman for these guys. Mm-hmm. They grow all their own herbs, mm-hmm. everything. Their soils are constantly tested to make sure no pesticides are being used. I mean, these guys are doing things the old way, the mm-hmm. old fashioned way, mm-hmm. you know, and so I would be very very careful it's a great deal it really is and it's very intriguing because i've fallen for it many many times but you you really do have to be careful and and again you get what you pay for you get what you pay for and and rachel you just touched base so there were people that i i sold herbal life to that it changed their lives Mm -hmm. made and then i had others where it didn't do anything everyone's body's different you know, Al, you bring right? that up. So I, one of the things that I did in the past 
is I actually did studies with doctors, nature paths and all that stuff on on metabolizing, mm-hmm. right? It was a DNA test on met- on how you metabolize your meds. Mm-hmm. Everyone metabolizes meds. Some are fast, some are slow, some are in that neutral. But it, it was shocking to me when I got my report back of how I metabolize certain meds, but yet my partner at the time had a whole different way of doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so the, the functional medicine, I'm sure, mm-hmm. kind of helps people to see as well as they challenge them and as they go through and try it, what's working, what's not. So they're yeah. seeing as that's taken. Do you actually do it? have a DNA test like that that you can use or a, a thing on metabolizing? Is that any test? If not, I've got a contact for you here in yeah. Utah because they, <laughs> they actually do that. I have a friend that does put, that for yeah. this company Putting out of Orem. Put the sales Orem. hat on right now. No, <laughs> out, of, out of Orem, and they do that for any any of the any of your things that shows if it's actually metabolizing or if it's working right. or if it's uh-huh. not. So, concept. Yeah, um, you know, that's hard to answer because we can run so many different tests. We have access to specialty testing, tests that most of your primary care doctors don't even know about. Um, wow. or even how to read the results. Um, so I'm sure there is some testing for that. But oftentimes people don't, that they don't really need that, especially up front, um, unless, you know, we get to the point where we've exhausted all of our other um, options, I guess. Um, but it, it is so true that there's such bio-individuality with us. And that's why I... I mean, obviously I'm biased, but I love Novus because we don't preach that this is the way. Uh, And I think even coaches, a lot of coaches get into that slippery slope of this is what works. It's called their own ego half the time. Yeah. (laughs) Um, You know, it's not saying that you have to be vegan, right? It's not saying that gluten is bad for everybody. Because that's just not true. Mm-hmm. Our bodies sure. are so different. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it's really about honoring that. And like you said, figuring out what works, what doesn't. And that's what's unique about the coaching relationship is that we do get that time together to explore that and to reflect on that and to change things if they're not working. Um, because, you know, as much as we know about the body, there's still things that we don't know and don't really understand of you know, how this one person's body is different than another. Well, and coaching allows you from that standpoint to gather the data. Mm -hmm. Like, are you more tired or you're more energetic? You know, are you not fit? How you fit? Each time you coach with them, you get that data that now you can graph that out yourself to say, ah, this is working. Oh yeah. Or this Mm -hmm. isn't working and you can, you can change if it needs to be. Well, and I think that's huge when you do have someone that's keeping keeping track of that because Mm -hmm. really when you're seeing it down on a piece of paper and you're seeing the graph Mm -hmm. i mean it makes it makes a huge difference a Mm -hmm. huge difference to be able to see it that's kind of vibrating that's going on yeah (laughs) well so we've said that about how you know what someone expects to pay possibly Mm -hmm. and all that stuff and of course unmet expectations at least they expect it they know Mm -hmm. it right Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what are some of the success stories that you've had that we can hear because that's always important to me. You know, mm-hmm. I want to know, hey, if I'm going to put my money out, if I'm going to believe this, yeah. share with me what, what others have gone through. Mm-hmm. So what do you know that you have that you can put without violating HIPAA, mm-hmm. without just kind of giving us right. an idea, what's what's taken place that you've personally seen and experienced as you've done your your coaching and, and as you worked with an individual? Um, I would say, you know, some of the more impressive stories, <laughs> I guess, are are those who are able to reduce or get off of certain medications. Uh, who likes to take medications that kind of make you feel groggy or just really not yourself? Um, so that's one big thing that um, people look for. Um, and while I can't say, oh, yes, we can get for sure get you yeah. off your medication, your number, we retest your labs, your numbers come down, you show your doctor There's and they're the like, oh, I guess you don't need that anymore. Um, so that's, I think that's such a big win in my eyes. I do too, um, yeah. Because it's just really improving people's quality of life. Um, and I think that's what's most important. Um, success stories, I think um, one success that is not a typical success story per se is getting diagnosis 
uh, for some some clients. I know um, I had this one lady who had some pretty crazy digestive problems, weird symptoms, really just not feeling good. Uh, she's pretty young too. She's in her 20s, um, you know, worked out pretty often, ate pretty healthy, but just really struggling. Um, and we were able to, you know, do the testing and figure out that she had celiacs, mm. celiac disease. Mm. And wow. that one you, you can live with and not know for a while, um, sometimes years. And that's not usually at the forefront of traditional doctors' minds um, with some of the symptoms. And so we were able to to really do a comprehensive um, GI test and find that out. And once she started taking gluten out, digestive issues went away. Her energy went up. She lost weight without even trying. Um, it was it was really impressive to see that shift. Um, but I think some of my favorite successes or stories with clients are are those who start with their health, but then it snowballs into a life-changing experience where they're starting to think about, am I really happy in my job? Are these friends really good friends for me? Um, it really becomes a life transformation um, because they're starting to feel better, thinking yeah. clearer, and waking up every day with energy and just that zest for life they start to question all of these different things that they've set up in their life and whether mm -hmm. or not it's benefiting them. Does it make you feel good? You know, I think that's a big part of the process is bringing that mindfulness back to ourselves um, to understand what makes us feel good and what maybe makes us feel good in the moment, but in the long term is really hindering us from where we want to go in life. Yeah, I, I really, I really like that because yeah. yeah. you know I know of people who have been at a job a very long time, they cannot stand going into work every day, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, I get it because it's that check that's coming in and and they're comfortable and it's there, but, I mean, I lost mine at twenty four years, mm -hmm. you know, I was kind of thrown right into the fire and and actually it's turned out to be a damn blessing. Mm -hmm. It really has because, you know, I've been able to build some things and, you know, I've done all kinds of different stuff throughout the year since 2009. And again, I also say my wife's addiction ended up being a blessing because now I get to do this and mm -hmm. I have found my why. I mean, I just love being in the studio and love being involved with the addiction realm and all the amazing people that I've got to be around. And we've gotten rid of some friends that they're no longer a part of our life, you know, mm -hmm. and it's crazy because it's the ones who have been in prison mm -hmm. and a battled addiction and stuff who've been in gangs that I would rather spend my time with, mm -hmm. which is kind of crazy, but they get life, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, I, and I also do believe that when we can now there are, there are places for prescription drugs, you know, mm -hmm. no doubt right. there, there Absolutely. is, but also I believe that we we put too many of these damn things in our system. Mm -hmm. It's all synthetic crap, mm -hmm. you know, and, and uh, Robert Scott Bell talks a lot about it. You know, it clouds our minds. It gets mm -hmm. us to where we're not thinking clearly. We still think we are because mm -hmm. we're still functioning and we're out in the 3D world. But yeah, when you can start changing your life, mm -hmm. yeah, and you're starting to feel better, oh my gosh, it puts you on a whole, a whole different level, mm -hmm. right? So that's a really good success story. Yeah. I really like that. So I'm gonna, yeah. I want to continue this conversation, but I want Rachel to say how to get a hold of her or the company or something. I think that's that's a oh, great yeah. transition. Well, I mean, we, here we, we are, and I'm like, want okay, that. fine. Yeah. Just definitely want quit that. telling me yeah. about the labor pain. Show me the baby. Right. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like like okay, how oh, how do I do? Yeah. So how do that people I'll get a hold know. of Nova? <laughs> how do they get a hold of Novus? How do yeah. they get a hold of you? If that's yeah. the case, what what's what's that? And then we'll continue this conversation. You can she can hit that at the end too yeah. for those that may have missed that. Yeah, um, so you can find us um, on social media. So we have Instagram, Facebook, but um, our and website it's N O V N O V I S I S. Okay. Um, yeah, our website our website is novishealthutah.com. 
Okay. Um, so that's a good place to go. That The website also has a lot of information to some more FAQs on a little bit more about functional medicine and, you know, what to expect. Hold on a second. Mm-hmm. That's FAQ, frequently asked question. Okay. I just want to make sure he was thinking clearly. Just want to make sure he was thinking clearly. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, and we offer free consultations. So I think okay. that's really huge for people to take advantage of because if you're on the fence about functional medicine or whether or not we can help you, just come in and talk. Come talk to me. You know, spend an hour. Let's flesh out what your goals are, what, you know, what symptoms you're having, a little bit about your health story. Um I'm really just there to listen, and I will be completely honest uh, if we can't help you. I will say that to your face, you know. Yeah. I'm not here to just take your money. I'm here to get good results, and if I don't think we can get good results, if I'm not the one to help you, I'll refer you to somebody who can. Um, and so I think that's huge. Consultations mm-hmm. always free so that you can feel comfortable and good about getting into to functional medicine and choosing this treatment route. Is you know, there a phone I, number too that you know off the Oh, yeah, top definitely throw a phone yes. number. Yeah. Um, so our phone number is 801 528 4844. 4844. So you can call okay. us, text us. You'll probably get a response from me. <laughs> and and we'll make sure that uh, when, when the show is posted, this information is going to be on there. We always mm-hmm. like to make sure that all that's there so people can know. I mean, I'd love to have my wife come in and have a free consultation Mm -hmm. because she had her lower intestines removed. Mm. Gosh, maybe it's coming up on two years. And she had colitis, ulcerative Mm -hmm. colitis. I think that's how they say it. You see. Yeah. And, (laughs) and, um, you know, they said she was good, but Mm -hmm. she still has issues. And I, I feel so, so bad for her because there's times literally we can't go anywhere. Yeah. It's because she's freaking running to the restroom mm-hmm. constantly. And and it's hard on our relationship. Mm-hmm. You know, and you're getting ready to go somewhere and all of a sudden it's like, I got to get a restroom. I got to find a restroom, you know, and you're, yeah. you know, and then she's coming back. And she's like, I really don't want to go anywhere. You know, yeah. it's like, oh, my gosh. And it happens constantly. And she's really been paying attention to certain foods. There mm-hmm. are certain meals that she's made that she's like. I'm just not able to make that this again because yeah. because it mm-hmm. makes it worse. Mm-hmm. She's constantly tired. She, we've been together 17 years, and she's mm-hmm. always been that way. There's a, and her basically all her siblings are the same way. I'm like, mm-hmm. there's a reason why you're constantly tired. Mm-hmm. You know, the girl can can sleep six hours and be tired. She can sleep 15 hours and still be tired. Mm-hmm. You know, and it just blows me away how mm-hmm. someone can sleep that much and mm-hmm. her sleeping habits are off. You know, yeah. and and, so, and again, she's worked through her addiction, you know, mm-hmm. two years this Friday on the night, two mm-hmm. years re- in um, sober. But um, I know there's some other things that I think she can do. I was just going to go her. there. So so there's a lot of people out there now. Mm-hmm. You can take the past disease we've had in, mm-hmm. in America yeah. and the United States, I mean, the world and all that stuff. But people have been exhausted since then. Mm-hmm. A lot of people have just been tired, and exhausted, whether it's, you know, like you said, your wife and going through mm-hmm. that, that. What can you do to help people like that? Do you guys even offer like vitamin B12 shots when they need that? Do you do you do any That's a popular thing like, now because too. Because yeah. here's what happens is most people are turning to the energy drinks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we know how those energy drinks can be too. They can be great, but you can crash. And, you know, if you don't find the right one that your metabolism right. works with, it, it could be a oh, problem. Oh, man. I, so, I knew a guy that drank like five monsters a day. Or not monsters, Red Bulls. I'm like, dude, you're going to freaking have a heart gonna attack. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to blow up. So, so my point is, I know even from myself, I have yeah. great energy. But, man, when I'm home and I'm off stage, I'm, I'm down. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted. Well, what can Novus do? Let me tell you before she answers okay. that question, because my wife's telling me that all the time. About 8 o'clock, man, I'm completely shot. Mm-hmm. I still think I should be like I was 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. She's like, babe, you are almost 60. You're not <laughs> no young pup anymore, you know, because I'm up at 5 o'clock pretty much yeah. every day. I hit the gym for an hour and a half to two hours. I work all day, you know, and yeah. then I come home and I work or I'm getting stuff ready for the show and stuff. Mm-hmm. But, man, 8 o'clock, I am literally like, mm-hmm. I'm shot. But again, I also, I got to start taking into account, okay, 
I am getting up there in age a little bit. But more. I always so, see you post at five in the morning or six in the morning too. You know, that's because I mean, because you're up and going. You know? Excuse me, that's because I am up. But anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah answer the question. So, so, <laughs> so even from someone like that, that may say, "Well, I don't know if I want really to go with my health." You know, find mm-hmm. out all this stuff. But man, I sure could use this right now mm-hmm. to create more energy and more mm-hmm. excitement. Can Novus help with that? Mm. That's tough because we're really about getting to the root cause. So we've got to look at why you don't have yes. that energy. That's the answer I wanted to hear. <laughs> yep. That's the answer so, I wanted to hear. So there's not He's a quick fix you. necessarily, but I would say two things when it comes to fatigue. One, stress. Stress shoots our adrenals and really hinders our thyroid function. And so those two things just really impact our energy levels. And then two, quit the caffeine. It, yeah. it helps you for a moment, but it's affecting your sleep. And that's what's making you need it in the morning. So getting rid of that caffeine is crucial um, to, to restore that cortisol balance. Cortisol is our stress hormone. And it gets so out of balance when we throw caffeine and um, those things that affect our adrenals into the mix. And so... It's incredible. So part of our program, we put people through what's called a metabolic clearing program most often. And there's a diet component to that. So a nutrition component. And you're supposed to completely cut out caffeine for 21 days. And it's tough for people. But by the end of those 21 days, if, if they actually do it, everyone reports better energy. It's incredible. I was diagnosed even looking at me being Mm pre-diabetic and I couldn't understand why. And then I started looking at my behaviors in life and it's like, since I was in junior high, I would have a Coke Mm -hmm. and a honey bun. Mm -hmm. No big deal, right? Mm -hmm. But I noticed when my doctor says, dude, (laughs) if you really want to change your life, you got to get off that stuff. And I did exactly that. I went, Mm -hmm. I went cold three, had my headache, Mm -hmm. had all this stuff going on. Okay. But I'll tell you my energy level. At, not the first week, right? No, not the second week, nope. but maybe the third or to the month time. I noticed my energy level was up. I, you know, I had just a better outlook. I had clearer thought process because mm-hmm. yeah. that sugar system was gone and that coke was. Now I'll I'll per, I'll get one every once in a while just because mm-hmm. I can because I'm mm-hmm. down and doing good. Mm-hmm. But I did that same thing. I did the functional side of it yeah. to really start to work on it, and it was tough, but yeah, it was it was. Something I wanted to do, mm-hmm. and I think that's the thing, is that you you need these these uh, individuals to come in because they want to. Yeah. A person convinced against their wills of the same opinion too, still. Yeah. So if you're trying to change them because mm-hmm. you want them to, but they don't want to, then it won't, then it won't happen. And I'm glad you brought that up because the same falls into the recovery. You know, I, I pushed my wife first couple recovery places she went to, she went to because of me. Mm-hmm. It was the whole wrong reason to yeah. go. It, you know, and people who want to finally go into recovery and get rid of the family or not the family, get rid of the habits that they've gotten into. Mm -hmm. It's their choice. They have to choose to, to go that direction. And until then, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can hand them a gold bar and say, I tell you what, if you do what we tell you in 30 days, this gold bar is yours. Mm -hmm. But if they don't want to, they're still not going to want that damn gold bar. Mm -hmm. You know, they want to give it to them. Just give it to me and then I'll do it. No, it's not that way. That's why it works a little bit better because we don't take insurance you're making an investment yeah and (laughs) you i love that you said that rachel because robert robert scott bell says the worst thing in life you can have is really good insurance i like that it it is because if you have really really good insurance Mm -hmm. then you got an enabler basically yes you do that's why he says that so Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you're investing in yourself, that's totally different. Mm-hmm. Totally different. Mm-hmm. Well put. I'm glad that she said <laughs> and that. And if you that's invest awesome. in yourself, I find that other people will invest in you too. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. In many yeah. ways because you're doing what you need to do. They'll do what they need to do to help you yep. as it sounds like you guys do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Well, I would love to talk for at least another half hour, but we got to respect Rachel's time because it is 1140. She's got a meeting that she's got to get to. So we want to make sure that you get to your meeting safely. Um, Again, we'll make sure that all your information, if there's Mm -hmm. anything, all your social media stuff, Mm -hmm. please send it to me in email so we can make sure that it's getting posted on the show. Mm -hmm. And um, is there any last thoughts you want to share with our audience? And if there is, 
look right into that <laughs> camera right there. <laughs> and um, Mason over there, he'll when you smile, he'll do that little ting, you know, that ting. <laughs> no, he's like, no, I won't. <laughs> Really just, you know, keep in mind that our health is all we have. I think that, you know, I think our health always gets put on the back burner until things are going wrong. Uh, But if we can get ahead of that, you're going to feel good every day and have the energy to accomplish all of your goals. So it's really not just about your physical health, but it's really about creating the life that you want to create well you said it best it's yeah. not only physical to physical health mental health it's all around yeah. and friendship yeah. health mm-hmm. and we have oh yeah friends. yeah friendship relationships it's it's everything i mean really <laughs> it changes it does change the whole life and you even said that with one of your success stories mm-hmm. you know and uh, i don't remember where i heard this and and i'm sure other people have heard it too but uh we've only got one body man this is it it's mm-hmm. not like we can go to the store and exchange it. Now, if you do have the money and you want to go get a new nose, I guess you can, <laughs> or or a butt lift or whatever they call them, I guess you can. But really, we only have this one body, mm-hmm. you know, and we got to do our best to take care of it as much as possible. And um, getting out there, getting healthy, eating healthy, and looking for someone like Novus mm-hmm. that can get in and just double check and see what's going on inside here, you know, because mm-hmm. it, it can make a huge difference. And Man, it's worth it. You know, we only got this one life, and uh, I tease my wife all the time that I'm going to live to be 100. And she's like, I don't know why the hell you want to. I'm like, as long as my mind stays okay, I really hope I have that opportunity. Because mm-hmm. back in the days with Moses and them, mm-hmm. they lived to 300 and something years old. When I read that in the Bible, that Moses was like 341, I was like, oh, hell no, no way. But I mean, that's. Mm-hmm. They didn't have all the junk in their food like we have in our stuff right now. Yeah. But anyways, so Rachel, again, thank you so much for your time. I'm so grateful and honored that you and I met at First Fridays yeah. and you agreed to come on the show. The information you shared was great. TJ, again, thank you. The questions that you asked Anytime, were, were phenomenal. Anytime. You know, Yeah, I thought this was a really good show and we really hope that our listeners uh, pick some stuff up here because again... Man, let's just help one another. I think mm-hmm. the more love and care, and and Rachel touched base, and, and I'm already a fan of Novus. You know, they're not here to collect the money. They're here to um, help you, you know. Mm-hmm. And if they can't, they're going to find someone that, that yeah. can. And I think that's very important today. Um, too much, and not, I'm not saying they're all like that because they're not. There are some really, really good physicians and doctors out there, mm-hmm. but there are also too many of them that the first thing they want to do is pick up a pen and that pad to write you a prescription, and we got to get the hell away from this mm-hmm. stuff. These guys have already made their billions. Let them go spend it. Mm-hmm. You know, let's not give them any more. So, anyways, guys, thank you again. Yeah, okay. thank you. Listeners, thank Rachel, you so thank much you. for all your love and um, all our sponsors. Thank you guys so much for, for everything, man. Our studio is continuously changing. We're getting more equipment, and it's all be happening because of you. You guys are the ones that's making this possible. Our listenership is going up more and more. Um, our live shows, uh, we're doing our live shows again every Wednesday at 5.30 Mountain Standard Time. Guys, thank you so much for all your support. Resilience Talk Network, Brad, Mason, guys, thank you. Love you guys so much. Appreciate all your help. Appreciate all our guests and all our guest co-hosts. We'll leave you with this as we do at the end of every show. Remember, addiction is giving up everything for one thing, and recovery is giving up one thing for everything. We're out.